just did a poll, you guys, and apparently 67% of you want me to discuss female influencers going after men and fictional female characters. Alright, let's get to it. But before I start discussing this, guys, remind all of you that's watching this video, this is going to be a little bit cringe-worthy or something that makes you uncomfortable. If you don't want to watch this video, you'd be happy to check out my other videos, but this is very important because... I'm not trying to make anyone cringe or uncomfortable. My channel's not meant for that. This is more to inform you of what's going on. And those who want to like comment on how you feel, please let me know as well. And I'll be happy to respond right away to these kind of issues. And, you know, I deal with being bullied myself. So I know this kind of problem. So you're not the only one. All right. And another thing too, please do me a huge favor. Do not any whatsoever on the circumstance do not attack my my subscribers or anyone that's dealing with this kind of situation do not threaten them don't harass them you know if you guys feel threatened in any kind of way please let me know and i'll deal with it i'll make sure i contact youtube or anyone the local authorities about it and i'd be happy to figure what is going on all right and of course as well please do not attack me because i'm an influencer i'm a woman and I'm not attacking anyone in this video, just to let you guys know, alright? So, what happened is that a friend of mine, regarding what happened, he's telling me that someone is on Twitch was doing some kind of live stream and she was setting a bounty on some guy's head and he's a YouTuber and she is, you know, saying this horrible, horrible things and she just saying things that really is life threatening and is dangerous that you say things in a live stream, especially you doing things in different programs, especially on Twitch. I don't know what her deal is because the guy is just discussing and he's a YouTuber. I forgot what the guy's name, I think it was the critical drinker or someone in the YouTube industry. I don't know the person personally, I just know for a fact that whatever she's doing is totally out of line because I don't know if the rules work on these kind of things on Twitch because if you notice that Twitch and YouTube and every kind of social media you have there's rules there's boundaries you cannot threaten anybody you cannot bully people you can't say anything or even worse have a bounty or put money on people like that because that is considered harassment and it's a dangerous game to play. I don't know who that person is to do that because he has an opinion on making a video about why do some female influencers want to go after fictional female characters when clearly they want to completely cancel, you know, video games or anime or anything that's fictional because they feel like self-conscious or you know, it's secluded or something that makes them not worthy for men or something going on. Some kind of feminist BS, you know what I mean? And I'm going to let you guys know, for me as a woman, I'm not self-conscious. I'm not insecure about my life being or my body or anybody in general. For me, personally, I don't like showing my face. Not because I don't want to. It's just that I deal with people outside of my universe that want to hurt me. And I don't want to discuss it because it's really affecting my mental health because it just brings me down and depressed and my husband kind of knows about it already so I don't need to deal with it no more. The other thing is like when it comes to fictional characters, you know, this is all the ladies that's watching this video, please hear me out. Look, if you are in a relationship or you're starting a relationship, understand this, that not all guys go thirsty or go after these fictional female characters. They don't do the you know what on the screen. They're just fake. They're not real. And to those to think that it's okay to tone down female characters by, you know, lowering the standard by covering up certain characters. Like, for example, like, my husband Kim told me that they want to, like, censor Tifa. And they want to put, like, some kind of, you know... Um, what was it, like some kind of undershirt over her white top and she is getting too busty and they always making her wear something like like a sweater or something. Like I can show you the picture of on the screen which makes no sense because 
I'm going to be honest with you, Tifa is well developed. She's like kind of like a realistic woman, right? So she's over age. She's already mature already. I can understand, okay, maybe if she was like a preteen, then I can understand. But if it's like an adult Tifa, if she was older, like say 18 or 20 something, then she's a grown woman, you know? So I don't get what, you know, some females are thinking that they should be toned down. They should be like flat chested or they should be like masculine or very tomboyish. And I want to tell you the truth. There are some tomboy girls out there that can be busty too. And I don't get why they're getting so triggered by it. Is it because you feel like you can't be like them when clearly they're fictional? They're not real. They're not real girls. So I don't get that. So if you got, if you, Girls feel like, oh, your man is like, you know, have a thing for a fictional woman, then that's on the guy you're with, not the fictional character. Because some, maybe some guys find fictional women attractive and they have an, an attraction to it. I don't, I don't know. I mean, my husband doesn't do that because he's a gentleman at heart and everything about him is so unique because he loves me for who I am. And he sees, you know, my personality. He sees, you know, mostly everything about me, how my kindness is and everything. And he loves me without makeup, you know, no matter how I put my makeup on. He always tells me, like, oh, honey, you don't need any makeup. You're beautiful the way you are, you know. I know it's kind of strange that you don't see that more often in guys nowadays. Maybe they do say it, but they don't want to say it. I don't know what it is, you know. So, you know, I... My personal take on it, I mean, I've been in past relationships, so I've been into a few toxic ones. It was not easy, I can understand, but I'm gonna let you girls know, don't feel that way. Because don't overpower fictional characters, because then you look like a fool. You look like an idiot for doing that. Because one day, you know, once you tone down all these female iconic characters, no matter what, is gonna bring a lot of gamers downhill and it's not just men that like you know fictional characters but also women too because and of course my husband again said that why do i have to see a shirtless guy why do we have to see it you know why can't we just tone it down a little bit because you can have muscle guys but why does he always have to have his shirt off all the time and i can't agree more with him because it's true, because I guess they want to look appealing, and probably girls have no problem with that, but when it comes to fictional female characters, oh, it's a big issue, it's a problem, you know? But when someone reviews a game, and you just want to go after that guy because you felt like it, you just want to attack and have other people on your channel or your stream to go after that person, and you say you want to put a bounty on his head, are you kidding? You know, that's... That's really, whoa, like, like, what is your problem? You got some issues, you know, just don't do that, you know, because that can be risky on your part. And of course, it will affect your stream and your content. So don't do that, all right? So I'm just letting you guys know that's watching this video. I'm not going after that person. I just know for a fact that you had to be careful. You need to, like, take a chill pill. You need to relax, all right? I know not all girls want to hear that word, like, relax, because they get all, all, like, static. So I can understand it completely. But other than that, you guys, um, for me, as a gamer myself, and I do play video games, I have no problem with fictional characters, both men and women. It's just when you tone things down a bit and you want to censor everything, that makes me lose interest in games. And it makes it hard for me to play games nowadays. And it always include the whole woke culture nonsense going on when they think they want to overpower every video game or movie or anime or you name it. It makes it difficult for the pop culture to, you know, wheel in the whole thing. You get what I'm saying? But just to conclude everything right now, just to end it, I just think that, you know, women should like not to be interfere with you know modern culture they just should leave it as it is especially when there's a fictional female character and you want to like remove it because you feel like oh these women they're just too provocative or 
they're just showing too much skin or whatever just leave it as it is you know if the developers of that game is doing that because they want to you know buy more product or have more stocks in their industry or whatever let them be you know they're fake they're not real all right just because they look real on the game uh, system whether it's xbox or playstation just leave it alone you know just don't bother with it all right you know don't be a big wuss about it just because oh my man is playing a game and it has big fussy women why can't i be like that uh don't interfere with gaming and with your relationship because that will jeopardize the whole thing all right i'm just letting you guys know that all right but other than that uh comment down below i want to hear your thoughts about the situation and if you agree or disagree so i want to hear your thoughts as well all right so other than that you guys if you guys really enjoyed this video press that like button and if you guys are new to my channel be part of my help by club please punch and subscribe and of course keep continuing to be uh joining my help by club and of course, you guys need to contact me. You can always contact me on my Twitter, my Instagram, my blog post, my Pinterest, my Discord, my Twitch, and that's in the description. And of course, as well, check out my beloved husband, Kaim Kenneth's YouTube channel, guys. Help him his channel grow and make him succeed. And check out his phenomenal blog posts, you guys. My husband is really talented and unique. Like I said in my previous video, he's a wonderful artist. And plus, he's a phenomenal writer. And just to let you guys know, in the near future, coming soon, he'd be making a website and it's related to wood carving. So check him out, alright? I love you, honey. Mwah. So this is your help, our leader, Maggie Negan, the Walking Dead Fangirl 27 signing off. See you guys in the next video. Bye, hun. Peace out.